Do you want to deliver e-learning content based on specific conditions? With Tutor LMS, you can do it using the Content Drip add-on. This is super helpful to ensure a more organized learning experience. In this video, we'll see how to use Tutor LMS Content Drip. So let's get to it. So as you can see, we have logged into our WordPress dashboard and we have our Tutor LMS Pro installed. And of course, you need Tutor LMS Pro for this as the Content Drip is a premium add-on. You can get Tutor LMS Pro from its official website. We've provided the link in this video's description. Download Tutor LMS Pro, install and activate it on your site to utilize all of its powerful features. So get a suitable plan and start your e-learning platform easily. Now let's get back to our WordPress dashboard and navigate to Tutor LMS add-ons section. And over here you can see there are so many add-ons. We're going to enable the content drip add-on and that's all we have to do. It's saved automatically. After enabling the content drip system, what we are going to do is go to our courses page. And as you can see, we have two courses only. So we want to enable the content drip system for this course. For that, we are going to click on these three dots and click on edit. You can also create a new course by clicking on this button and enable content drip for that as well. But we're going to simply edit our existing course and enable the content drip feature for this one. So let's scroll down. And over here in the course settings, you can see there's a general tab and a content drip tab. So we're going to select this tab and we're simply going to enable content drip for this course. Now you can see there are four options. Schedule course contents by date, content available after X days from enrollment, course content available sequentially, course content unboxed after finishing prerequisites. So there are four options. You can select this one where you have to set a specific date and those content will be available in that specific date. So if this is selected, schedule course contents by date, you will be able to manually select the date of the lesson or quiz when this content will be available. For example, we want to enable this for a lesson. Let's scroll down and you can see we have a couple of topics over here. So we're going to expand this topic and let's take a look at lesson two. We're going to click on this edit button. We can see that there's a new settings here that says content drip settings. And here is the unlock date. If I click on this field, it's going to show me a calendar and we can select any date when this lesson will become available. So today's uh, 20th. So if I select 21st, this lesson will become available tomorrow. Okay. Now we can update the lesson to save our changes. And the same goes for quizzes as well. You can see I have a quiz over here. If I edit it, let's click on save and next. Let's click on save and next again. Here in the settings, if we scroll down, we can see the content drip settings is over here. We can also select a date for our quiz as well. Okay, but I'm not going to choose any date for the quiz right now. First, I want to test how uh, this content drip settings for lesson two is working. So I have given a date for uh, lesson two only. So lesson two will be available on this date. And if I want to apply the content drip for other lessons, I have to manually select it. And then I have to select the date here as well. Okay, so first let's see if it's working. So I'm going to update my changes. And now I'm going to open up a private browser and log in as a student and then see if this content drip is working or not. Okay, so I'm here in the lesson page. Now let's enroll. And now let's use our username and password and sign in as a student. Okay, so I have signed in as a student. Now let's click on start learning. And here is our lesson one. There's the video and some text. And if you see on the left hand side here, this is our lesson right now. The next lesson, which is get started with WordPress, get familiar. This has a padlock over here. So if as a student, I click on this lesson two, you can see it says this lesson will be available from April 21st. So the content drip system is working for this lesson. But you can also see we can move around to lesson three over here and also the quiz. Now, if we want to enable the content drip settings for these lessons or quiz, we have to manually select these lessons and select a date for them. So now let's get back to our dashboard. So 
That goes for the schedule course contents by date. Again, there's the second option, content available after X days of enrollment. If we select this, the course content will be available after a specified number of days has passed since the enrollment. So let's see how this works. If we scroll down and, and edit this lesson, here you can see there's the course drip settings over here that says seven days. So this lesson will be available after seven days of enrollment. Okay. So same goes for the uh, quiz as well. So if we click over here and if we click on save and next, save and next over here, you can see the content drip system is over here. We can change any number of days over here. So after five days of enrollment, the quiz will be available. Now let's see this in action. Let's go to lesson two again and it's set to seven days. So it, the lesson will be available after seven days of enrollment. So I'm going to update this lesson and I'm going to update my page. And now let's again log in as a student. Okay, so I've logged in as a student. Now let's click on start learning. And you can see this is where our course page is. Now, if we click on the lesson two, now you can see there's a new message. It says this lesson will be available for you from April 27, 2024. So since I joined on April 20th, the lesson will become available seven days after my enrollment. So it's on April 27. So this is also working as well. Okay. The third settings is probably the settings you might want is the course content available sequentially. So if this is selected, students have to complete this course sequentially. That means he has to finish lesson one in order to get to lesson two. And in order to get to lesson uh, three, he has to finish the lesson two. So everything will be available sequentially. The students cannot jump from topic to topic or lesson to lesson. Now let's see this in action. So having this selected, I'm going to update my settings and now I'm going to log back in as a student. Okay. So I have logged back in as a student. Now I'm going to click on start learning. And here, as you can see, lesson one is available for us, but lesson two, lesson three, and the topic one end quiz is locked. You can see a padlock over here. So if I click on lesson two, it's going to tell me, please complete your previous lesson first. The, this is the previous lesson. So if I select lesson three, it's going to tell me, please complete previous lesson first, which is getting started with WordPress, get familiar. So this one. So students have to complete the lessons sequentially. Okay, so it's working. Now let's take a look at the final content drip type. Course content unlocked after finishing prerequisites. So if I select this, there will be certain prerequisites the student must fulfill in order to access the next contents. So if we click on the edit lesson two, you can see we have a new option over here. The content drip settings prerequisites. If we click over here, you can see that we have a list of prerequisites. So these are all the lessons we have. So we can select this one. Okay. Now we can add multiple of these prerequisites, but let's actually see this in action. So I'm going to update the lesson and I'm going to click on update over here. And now let's log back in as a student. Okay. We have logged back in as a student. Now let's click on start learning. Okay. Here you can see we have access to lesson one, but in lesson two, there's a padlock over here. And if we click on it, you can see we have a prerequisite getting started with WordPress, get familiar. You can take this lesson after finishing the following prerequisites. So this is the first lesson that we have to complete in order to um, start this second lesson. But you can see the other lessons, these are accessible. Using this type of content drip, you can add as many prerequisites as you want. Okay, so this is also working. So that brings our tutorial to an end. We hope that this video was helpful for you guys and you have learned a lot about content drip feature in Tutor LMS. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.